Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Channel. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hello everybody, how are you? I know I look different. I have eyelash extensions. I am still getting used to them. I feel like I look ugly. <laughs> Like, I feel like people get eyelash extensions and they're like, wow, I feel so cute when I'm not wearing makeup, but I feel like I look weird. Like, I feel like I don't look right. And I think it's because I don't have a lot of natural eyebrows and then I have, like, troublesome skin, so I feel like it just doesn't look right. But, yeah, I'm going to put on makeup for the first time since I got them, so we're going to see how it looks. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't post last week. I greatly apologize. Um, I really don't have an excuse this time. I'm just a piece of shit. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to read your guys' assumptions about me. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys assume about me. And we're going to read what y'all think about me. And I'll let you know if it's true or not. Or from my knowledge, if it's true or not. <laughs> but yeah, before we get started, we do have a sponsor today. And the sponsor of today's video is Omaze. Thank you, Omaze, for sponsoring this video. Shout out to y'all. Y'all are amazing. Omaze is an online fundraising platform that raises up money for its nonprofit charities. And with the money that they raise up for these nonprofit charities, they give people the experiences of a lifetime. And we have one today. So the prize that they are giving away is a mansion in freaking Miami. The prize that they are giving away is a $2.6 million house mansion in Miami. Literally a dream house. And if for some reason you don't want a dream house in Miami, you could get $1.8 million in cash. You would be set for why? Do you know how many people, other people you could help with $1.8 million? That's a lot of freaking money. It's a beautiful 6,060 square foot house with seven bedrooms and six bathrooms. Holy smokes! The charity that they're helping raise money for is Make-A-Wish America. Um, Make-A-Wish America grants a child a wish every 34 minutes. That is mind-blowing. Every 34 minutes, they help a kid with a critical illness get one of the biggest dreams that they could ever wish of, which is freaking amazing. And if you guys want to spread the optimism and go ahead and help more kids get their wishes, you could go ahead and click the link in my description and donate $10 with your chances to win this dream house in Miami or the $1.8 million. Whichever one you would want more. <laughs> They both sound really freaking good. To potentially win a $2.6 million dream home or $1.8 million cash by supporting Make-A-Wish America, go to, let me tell you the link. I need to read it. It is omaze, O-M-A-Z-E dot C-O-M backslash K-O-R-I-E-R-E-Y-N-O-L-D-S. So that's going to be amaze.com backslash Corey Reynolds. Enter for a chance to win. Go to the link down below and donate $10 and you could literally be living in Miami. It all goes to a great cause, and I really appreciate Omaze sponsoring today's video. Thank you very much. I appreciate y'all. Back to the video. Did you guys know 50 Cent made vitamin water? Or my boyfriend was lying to me. I don't know. But that's what he told me. <laughs> but this one, it's bad. It's zero sugar, and it tastes like I'm drinking blood. It tastes like iron. It tastes like fucking pennies. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera just to speed things up, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna start reading the assumptions that you guys sent me that you have about me. And I'm excited to see what the hell y'all said. So I'll be right back. I fucked up my eyebrows so bad. They look like James Charles in 2016. I tried everything in my power to fix them and I can't. So let's remember, these are what people assumed about me, okay? <laughs> Someone said you got bad grades in high school. Yes, good job. I sucked at everything I did in high school. I also didn't really ever like apply myself to like try. Like I don't really know if I ever really gave it my all. So it's not like I'm like stupid. I just don't think I tried hard enough. <coughs> Fuck. You scared the shit out of me. Swing your coffin on. <coughs> I was joking on water. My eyebrows are so huge. They yeah, are. Why would you do that? I didn't mean to do it. There you go. <laughs> Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> <coughs> you said my eyelashes are big and I said My they eyebrows. Are. I mean, yeah. Then I had to fuck that one up too because I fucked the other one up. <laughs> you prefer Cardi over Nikki? You really think that love me? I'm offended at that one. Why would you think that? What about me comes across like that? You want plastic surgery? Yeah. <laughs> I won't lie. 
Hi. <laughs> I do. I just want my titties done. This is gonna be hard to do my eyeshadow because I can't see anything. This person says you fart a lot. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong at all. Really not. The average person farts like 10 to 15 times a day. Literally look it up. And if you think that you don't do that, you're doing it when you're sleeping. That's why you don't think that. We should stop being ashamed of farting. It's really not that big of a deal. You know? You get into a lot of fist fights. No. I used to fight with my sister. Like, fist fight my sister a lot. I would never win. That bitch is fucking terrifying. But, um, the only fucking fight I've ever gotten was at the G's concert. I'm pretty sure I've already told that story, like, a million times. <laughs> But yeah, that was the only time I ever fought somebody that wasn't my sibling. But no, I don't get in fist fights a lot. I haven't punched somebody, I don't know, probably since I was like 18, maybe not even like 17. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm like, who wants to be punched? <laughs> Any volunteers? You drink every night and still regret it every morning. I don't drink every night, but usually after I drink, I do regret it, like almost every single time. Which I don't really know why I fucking drink then, because I, I literally wake up and I regret it every single time. Because I get so hungover. Like, is it normal for me to get as hungover as I do at this fucking early age of 21? Like, I will literally get so fucking hungover. Like, I will be throwing up all day, can't keep food down. And I'm 21. Does anyone else feel like they have that problem and they're super young? I think it's literally because I started drinking at too young of an age. Not, like, bragging or anything, but I feel like... Since I started drinking, like, when I was younger, I'm, like, dealing with the fucking hangovers, like, an adult would have. Because I didn't start drinking at, like, a normal age of 21. Does anyone else feel like that happened to them? Someone literally said, bully. Mean. You think I'm a mean bully? I'm not a mean bully. <laughs> I've never, I don't, I never bully people in school. I mean, like, that's not really something to be like, I never bully people in school. I'm so great. Like, you shouldn't do that. But, like, I, I was always the person being bullied. <laughs> like, I never bullied anybody. That you're not judgmental and hella fun to be around. Thank you. Um, I don't know if I'm, like, fun to be around because I don't really do shit. <laughs> like, I like to just sit in my bed. <laughs> all the time. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. I like to sit in my bed all the time. And I'm completely okay with it. Like, I'm okay with being in my bed. But you're right about the non-judgmental part. <laughs> like, I don't have, like, I can't, I have no room to judge anybody. I really don't. I can't believe my boyfriend told me my eyebrows did look bad. <laughs> like, I understand that I said it first, if he was agreeing, but he was supposed to tell me I look beautiful. Don't you agree? This person says you're bipolar. I'm not bipolar, but I do have borderline personality disorder, <laughs> which is very similar, but it's not the same thing. You've always been really popular at school? No. In elementary school? No. I was fat and people bullied me, and my mom was the yard duty, so I would hang out with my mom every day. <laughs> Um, in middle school, I wasn't popular. I did have, like, a good amount of friends, but I wasn't, like, popular. I did feel like I, like, a lot of people knew who I was. It's the same thing with high school. Like, I feel like a lot of people knew who I was, but I wasn't popular. Like, I didn't have, like, I don't know. I feel like people knew my name and knew who I was, but they, I wasn't considered, like, a popular bitch. Does that make sense? I feel like you give really good hugs and smell like vanilla and cookies. <laughs> That's really sweet. Thank you so much. I don't know what I like smell like. My scent. Like I know what perfume I wear. But I know how everybody has a different scent. Sometimes my dad comes up to me and smells my head. And he's like, you smell like Cory. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> this is the perfume I wear though. <laughs> Oops. Hypnotic poison from Dior. That smells like, like vanilla I feel like. Like sweet. Maybe you're right. This person assumes that I'm too nice. I would have to agree. I feel like people walk all over me. Every friendship I've ever had, I feel like people walk all over me. And I don't want that to happen. I don't mean for that to happen, but it always does. It always does. Recently, I've found friends that don't walk all over me. Like one. I have like one friend that hasn't walked all over me my whole life. Um, that I've had literally since middle school. Shout out to Elijah. I literally adore you. Love you. He's never been taking he's never taken advantage of my kindness and I love him for that and he will forever be my best friend. But um every other person that's my best friend or has been really close to me, they tend to walk all over me and I don't know why. I don't know what I do to make people do that to me. I don't I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like you get sad and overshare a lot. Oh well. <laughs> I have BPD also. Um Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah how'd you know <laughs> i feel like you're really kinky like bondage kinky no you what <laughs> no what makes you think that i want to know what makes you think that i'm like that no i'm not i'm actually a person that's very like tell me like me lies and tell me you love me and be really sweet to me like i don't want to be like slapped or anything please don't do that <laughs> i would get really sad i'd probably start crying for real you're super sweet when people take advantage of it i was saying that earlier thank you for seeing that <laughs> um i feel like i've gotten a lot better at that though it was it was a lot worse when i was younger but i feel like i've gotten a lot better like i don't let people walk all over me as much as i used to like maybe a little bit but not as much as i used to <laughs> growth you don't shave your pussy no i do <laughs> no i do but if you don't that's fine no one cares do what you want to do body hair's fucking normal if it grows on you then it's normal don't feel obligated to have to do that if you don't want to but i do <laughs> but i i do shave my coochie meow meow <laughs> you vomit when you're too drunk p.s i love you i love you too um no i actually don't surprisingly um, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my body. I mean, I guess it's kind of a good- No, it's not a good thing. Because every single time I get drunk, I'm fine. Like, I could be really, really drunk and I won't throw up. Like, I, I can't even remember the last time I threw up while drinking. But I always throw up the next day. Every single time. Like, why can't I just get it out the night before and then wake up and not have a hangover? But every single time I wake up, I have a hangover and I throw up. I think that's bullshit. Don't you think? You like girls. I don't want to say I am because I don't know. So I'm just going to say, maybe. Never tried, so don't know. <laughs> well, I'm so fucking excited for the month of October to freaking do Halloween looks. <gasps> the next video that you guys see for me is going to be a Halloween video. How exciting is that? Because next week on Friday is going to be October 1st. No way. Listen to this shit. There's five Fridays in October. That means five looks. Holy moly, that's exciting. I literally don't even want to do my hair because I just hate how my makeup looks so much. Like, I just don't even think it's worth it. Like, I don't think that it's even worth damaging my hair. This person says, you like butt stuff, lol. No, I'm terrified. No, thank you. All right, guys, I'm gonna go fix my hair and put some lipstick on and some lip gloss and i will be right back to close out this video you know i was gonna do my hair and put on a shirt but i just really don't like my makeup so i don't think it's even worth it to do something just bit my ass i hope that you enjoyed this video you better be good to your brain and you had better have been being good to your brain i know i didn't get to tell you that last week but if you weren't good to your brain last week you better be good to it from this point on and you better have been being good to it you hear me bitch anyways okay i love you guys so freaking much i hope you're having a great day wherever you are and i will see you next time bye i love ya be good to your freaking noggin your brain what's inside your cranium is your cranium i don't care bitch have a good day bye <laughs>